Hi there. This is a little cube who is now king of the entire universe. No, uh, taking this seriously, this is uh, a packet in a puzzle by ThinkFun. And what you're looking at is a puzzle. Of course, this doesn't make much sense. It's uh, just. Let's just break that all apart and uh, dissect this whole thing. Now, as you can see, we have a uh, relative uh, dimension of 2 by 2 by 1 uh, cuboids, I guess you could say. And we also have three cubes. They are obviously red. No, I'm, I'm kidding with you. This is orange. And there are six of the squarish pieces as well. Now the goal is to make a 3x3 three three cube using all these pieces. And of course, to, um, to reinforce that fact, they included a little box right here. Now, uh, it's, it's a plain matte orange, which is uh, very nice. It has a sl very uh, secure feeling uh, lid that slides on and off easily, and I just did that so many times. At the bottom, it says, Think Fun 2009, Think Fun Incorporated, made in China. And it reinforces the fact right here on the bottom. Get these pieces, put it in, and you're done. Now, this may seem very simple, and I just hit the camera, but it should be fine. But uh, it's not as easy as it may, may seem. Here is the typical way of uh, a person might try completing this puzzle. Let's see, pack them in neatly, just like so. Uh, put that in right there. Put that in right there. And you can... Uh, Put the cubes anywhere there, like so, but you have one extra bit sticking out. You can remove these, um, you can remove those little things and place them, uh, place this square in no area that's really obvious. So one might, one person might go, hmm. I know, and it's really hard to uh, record this sideways. I'm sorry, but uh, here, how about this? If you if you stack them like so, then you get a better chance at no nothing. Okay, let's try to be a bit random here. Uh, you can place that there. Um, place that in like this and no we still have virtually the same thing uh, hmm. and then if you uh, become lax and you start placing things you realize that all these square bits fit now view these little cubes here as more of a filler and as long as you fit these in the cubes will fit in the rest of the area so that's that. Uh, of course, we need to fill in the little gap, so I'll put, drop that in there, like that. Drop this in here. Uh, fill that little hole right there, and put that there. And in all that chaos, you have solved the puzzle. No, but th that's not just all I want to show you. Uh, People might not uh, appreciate this as much, but uh, if you do a little bit more of an investigation, let me carefully dump these out. There's actually a very nice pattern built in here. Now, it's not as apparent until I tilt it, just like that. It's still hard to see, but right now you have a little small QB in the corner there, and you have some of those square pieces forming a nice spiral like that. And uh, if you could look from the bottom corner of this, uh, this bottom corner, that way, you'd see the exact same pattern. Now let me re redo this, showing you the nice pattern. And you might appreciate this more. Go like this. And assemble that like so 
So you have this nice little spirally looking shape. Fill in this little gap here with a cube. And start place, uh, overlapping these squares like so. That's one. That's two. And that's a mistake. And that's those three. And of course, you have one extra spot to place this bit right here. So that's the interesting, I don't know if you'd call that uh, symmetry, like you, you rotate it on um, a diagonal axis and it uh, looks the same. So I guess there is some kind of symmetry there. And uh, yeah, so I believe that was called Pack It In by ThinkFun. It's just a nice little puzzle box. It's really small and it's it's very well made. Like it doesn't feel like it'll fall apart. So it's great for uh, younger um, puzzle people. Thanks for watching.